Shalom, Israel. It's your boy, New Breed, coming through with another live stream. I tried to go live a few minutes ago. I was experiencing some technical difficulties. I apologize. If everything is functioning properly, y'all can hear and see me clearly. Go ahead and put a one in the chat. What's up? What's up? I see y'all rolling in pretty quick. Put a one in the chat if everything is working properly. That's what's up. I see them ones. I see them ones. That's what it do. I see y'all rolling in pretty quick, too. I see young Gene in here. What's up? True love's in the house. Trey Clayton's in the house. Man. The stranger, what it do? King C3. Man, y'all rolling in quick. What it do, family? I'm glad y'all catching another broadcast. In this particular broadcast, I want to talk about why most modern day relationships do not work. They just don't work. And it's such an extended list of reasons why they just don't work. There's so many reasons and, you know, I don't want to be negative in this particular live stream. I actually want to help to break some of those generational curses that our families have been plagued with. And in order to do so, I got to list some of the problems in order for us to do the complete opposite in our relationships, to make sure our families stay together, to make, it, to make sure there's no broken homes, to make sure there's no fatherless households, to make sure that we continue to grow, thrive and succeed as families, because that seems to be the biggest threat in this satanic, demonic society. The biggest threat seems to be family. You know, you got all these agendas that's plaguing society. You know, it has been stated by several demons, I would say, like Fauci, Bill Gates, so on and so forth. You know, it's been it's been talked about that the world is overpopulated, but that's neither here nor there. That's another topic for another day. But I pride myself on being a pro-life advocate. And in order for us to thrive and succeed, we got to know what we're doing wrong, right? And this is going to go for brothers and sisters alike. Um, man, where do I begin? First and foremost, allowing the government to intrude on our unions is one of the hugest problems. Allowing the government to intrude on our unions. I'm talking about the marriage license. Yeah, the dreaded marriage license. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't need a contract to be married, all right? You don't need a contract. Once you sign on that dotted line, you allow the government into your corporation. This is one of the biggest issues right here. You got to understand your relationship is a corporation. Your relationship is business, ladies and gentlemen. It's business. And when you sign on that dotted line and you allow Uncle Sam to be a mediator between you and your woman, you allow the government in your business. All right. So number one, that's an issue because now you got someone who can dictate what happens if that relationship doesn't work out. And I don't care what you say. It's going to cause some grief. It's going to cause some tension between both parties involved each and every time because you got prenuptial agreements. Uh, what if it's not a prenup? Um, you know, somebody's always calculating walking away. I mean, it's only natural if 
you sign this contract and things are going wrong and you're trying to figure out a way you can thrive and succeed and quote unquote find happiness. Someone is always going to be looking to get the upper hand. It's going to be hidden tension in that relationship. That woman in, her, in the back of her mind, she's thinking about walking away with half half of the possessions or even more. Nowadays, the woman is walking away with practically everything. That ain't how love is supposed to be. It shouldn't be no pressure. It shouldn't be no pressure of a prenuptial agreement or not. It creates tension. In slavery days, slaves hopped over a broom and they considered themselves to be wedded. It was holy matrimony just hopping over a broom. And, you know, us brothers, we should be able to dictate our own unions, our own contract. We should have our own governed body. Our family structure should be dictated by us and us alone. Here it is, you live in a, a monogamous society. According, I put that in quotations because nobody's monogamous, all right? And I mean nobody. Women should be monogamous in this day and age, but a lot of women are not, all right? A lot of women are practicing polygamy. They're polyamorous, all right? And a lot of men are whoremongers, all right? There's whores and whoremongers in this modern society. It's just the outright truth. So in this modern society, you have everyone under the idea of monogamy, but men are cheating. Women are getting divorces, all right? So another one of the biggest reasons that these modern relationships do not work whatsoever is this so-called monogamous union. Being under the auspice of monogamy, it doesn't work. Doesn't work whatsoever. Um, men are not designed to be monogamous, all right? Men are naturally polygynous, all right? Men are naturally polygynous, especially you brothers from the Theaspera. And I'm talking 12 tribes, one nation. A lot of us are pre-genetically disposed to deal with more than one woman. So here it is. We have a lot of men who hide, lie. There's a lot of secrecy going on. Therefore, a lot of marriage and a lot of relationships are being separated because of someone cheating on someone, right? Infidelity. That's the word I'm looking for. There's a lot of infidelity. A lot of cheating. Men are not being honest. And when you're not honest with a woman, you naturally put her in an authoritative position. Because if you come into the relationship lying, that means you look at her like the authority. Therefore, that relationship is already off balance. You understand? Yep, somebody, Gerald Nichols said it. He said, it's in a man's DNA that we can make a lot of children. Absolutely. We can have multiple women pregnant at the same time. We can create, <laughs> we can, can create 10, 12, 11 babies in one year. That's because that's nature for you. You can't go against what nature is. Men and women are not the same. So that's number one. We got to understand that there's a biblical patriarchy. There's a biblical patriarchy and uh, a lot of women don't want to accept it. Um, and I'm going to tell you most of the reasons why they don't want to accept the biblical patriarchy. Uh, it's mostly negative reasons why they won't accept it. All right. It's, it's mostly out of jealousy. It's mostly out of insecurity. It's mostly because they're thinking about sex and not family growth and development. Um, it's mostly because they're just not ready to let go of this matriarchal society. All right. So a lot of women are totally against polygyny, um, although it's biblical, although it's sound, although that's one of the reasons why we're falling as a nation. One of the reasons why we're falling, one of the reasons why we are not thriving and succeeding and populating the way we should is because men are not being men anymore. All right. Men are not being men anymore. 
men are not keeping it real with these women. Um, men are hiding, men are lying, and they're bowing before the, the feminism, pretty much. You don't need a marriage certificate. You don't need anybody in your union. You as a man, you got to go out there and do what it is you got to do as a man. And if you're in this live stream gaining edification, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Because we're talking about the reasons why modern day relationships do not work. And there's so many reasons. Like, we're just scratching the surface right now. When we get into all the reasons, what I want you all to do is just do the total opposite in your relationships. Because we got to begin to reverse these curses. We got to begin to change. Bree says, um, men just use this to have more than one woman to sleep with. Imagine if, if it was the other way around. Well, Bree, it's not the other way around. And if this stream is not for you, just, uh, you know, politely depart. Politely depart yourself. Um, Gerald, thank you for the uh, $20 contribution. I appreciate it. Uh, Geraldo says, man, with true wisdom right here, salute, salute, big bro. All praises, brother. Thank you for supporting this work, my, my, my family. And see, this is the thing. Like, real men don't go back and forth with women. Listen, women, they have emotions. We operate on logic. And that's another thing. Like, we... The men, let's speak to the brothers for a second. Y'all got to understand whatever we do, whatever we say goes, all right? Whatever we do, whatever we say, that's it. They can either get with it or get gone. They can get right or get left. It's just, it's just really that simple, brothers. It's really that simple. Like we're not trying to convince anybody to do any damn thing because what a lot of women don't understand is regardless Real men are going to attract the type of women they desire. So it doesn't matter what women who don't understand. It doesn't matter what they think. You understand? And that's the mentality you brothers got to embody. You got to understand, brothers, that you can, you can no longer compromise for this modern day society because the relationships do not work. They don't work. I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, 70% of marriages end in divorce. And this is under monogamy. This is under monogamy. 70% and 70% and as damn near 70% of these divorces are initiated by the woman. These men are not requesting divorces. It's the woman. Nine times out of 10, it's the woman requesting the divorce. So, since you have a society like that that's not working, uh, families are breaking up, um, it's causing a great deal of, of pain on the children, um, we got to figure out some resolve. And our forefathers, they practice polygyny. It just is what it is. It's always worked for us when it comes to population. It's a family structure, and it also works for us growing business, a strong foundation. Let's see here. Somebody said 80%. I got to look that up because somebody said 75%. The last time I checked, which was a couple months ago, it was 70%. Um, it may be more. With everything that's going on in the world, I would not be surprised if it's more because the wheat and the tear are being divided as we speak. Somebody said, if you're here to go against the grain, please leave. Absolutely. Because nobody's going to argue. We deal with logic over here. We deal with logic. I made an interesting post on Instagram uh, a few days back. In this post, it shows a brother with his seven wives. And he has a lot of children as well. I can't remember how many children he had in the video, but um, he shows his wives and he talks about how nobody is in competition. There's no beef in the household. Everybody's getting along just right. And some of the responses that I seen were just absolutely incredible. 
I seen some real incredible responses. And the caption that I placed on that particular post was, if this is not a beautiful sight to behold, then you're not of the truth. You're anti-life. If this is not something beautiful to see, all these women not competing against each other, no jealousy, no strife, they all working together in the kitchen to get food prepared for the children. If this is something that doesn't look beautiful to you in this modern society where women are always in competition with each other, where there's absolutely no sisterhood among women. And you see all these beautiful children being raised. If this is not beautiful to you, at least to look at, then you're not in the truth. Some of the um, some of the comments were phenomenal, man. It was so many people. That it was a lot of women in, in particular that just was like, no, I'm not, I'm not sharing no man. This is what they say. I'm not sharing a man. Listen, 90% of women who say they ain't sharing a man are sharing a man. 90% of women who say they not sharing a man are already sharing a man. That man been, listen, that man been doing him for, for years now. He's just doing it very deceitfully. You understand? You're just dealing with someone who's lying to you. Number two. Women, you have to get out of the mentality of being possessive. possessive. You don't own a man. It's the other way around. The Bible tells us that a man who find a wife findeth a grand possession he findeth a grand possession a possession now of course it's a possession that he he puts into high regards um it's a possession that he loves um if i get me a new lamborghini or a new bmw let's go let's go with a bmw let's go with a foreign luxury vehicle right if i get this this luxury vehicle I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to love it. I'm going to keep it clean. I'm going to talk to it. You know, I'm going to treat it with the most utmost respect. That's how it's supposed to be. So you have a, a society where women don't know their roles. And here's the issue. When a woman knows her role, it, the man can go so far in life. And it'll become so much easier to provide for her and the family when that man doesn't have limitations, when that man doesn't have stress. Do you understand? When there's no stress involved, a man can do great things in life. Some women out there know that they stressing a man out because they're insecure. They worried about what a man is doing out in these streets. And you don't even know how much you're holding a man back from growing, developing, from learning, from understanding women more. Because in order for you to understand women more, you need to have women. As a man, to understand women, you have to have women. You understand? And you got women who like to hold men back from doing what it is they were born to do. Men have a great calling on their lives. Men of truth. Men of stature. When you look at some of these rappers when you look at your little boosies um when you look at countless others who got let's say 10 12 13 baby mamas right because a lot of these guys when they get rich they just got all these baby mamas actually truth be told a lot of them be having a lot of baby moms while they're becoming great and the world likes to call them baby mamas. I hate that terminology. It's very degrading. It's not what it is. The Most High God considers them to be wives. A lot of the times when men are becoming their, their true selves and, and actually finding success in life, right? A lot of the times they have a lot of, a, a lot of wives. Do you understand? But... The world would like to call them baby mamas. We can no longer allow society to degrade us. We can't allow that. We can't allow that anymore. We got to treat our women with respect. They are wives. Of course, that's, un that's unless that woman leaves you. 
If she leaves you and she has your child, that was her decision. She's not considered a wife. You can call her what you want, but I still don't like the terminology baby moms. All right. She just she just somebody that she left you. A lot of the times men don't even be the ones leaving these women. A lot of the times it's the woman leaving because she she cannot mold and shape a man how she wanted him to be. So she'll up, she'll pack her bags and she'll get the hell up out of there. A lot of the times it's the woman leaving. Somebody said little Boosie has the financial means to support more than one wife. Listen, women were born, women were created to be a man's help. Do you not know the scriptures? The reason why a woman was created is to be the man's help meet, right? Correct? So you telling me, you believe, you truly believe in your heart that a man is supposed to provide everything for a woman and a woman is not supposed to help him build that empire? Do you understand? See, this is the issue. And this is why we're talking about why modern relationships just don't work. We don't even understand the roles. A woman was literally born to help you. Her purpose in your life is to help you reach success. Not you already have it all together. Y'all supposed to build something together. You're not supposed to have it all and just give it to her. That, that would make no sense. Why would she deserve that? Why would you meet a woman and you have it all? You a, you a damn multimillionaire. You a damn billionaire, right? She don't have nothing. She brung you nothing. She didn't help you get there. She didn't help you do anything, bro. You telling me you're supposed to meet her and take care of her. Do that make sense to you? Do that make any sense to you? What do? How do y'all even relate? So you don't understand the position of a woman. And polygynous unions don't work like that, bro. You got to have someone. Any woman that you deal with, she's supposed to be helping you in life. Yeah, somebody said, yeah, she just want to spend money. <laughs> Absolutely. You telling me that you you supposed to meet a woman and she's supposed to just use you to spend your money up like that makes no sense, bro. She has she has a position to play. And a lot of these entertainers, they had multiple wives while they were gaining the success. That's the part you don't understand. Um, Afonso says, uh, hold on, the comments are moving pretty quick. Baby boomer generation and Gen X left us the burden, the iniquity and perverse way left our relationships and knowledge of procreation in the toilet. Facts. That is true. And that's, you know, that's what I'm here for, to tell you why these modern relationships are failing. They're failing because women don't understand a position. They believe that they own you. They believe that you are property. You know, women are looking at men like Birkin bags. A lot of women get into these relationships with men just to say they got this man. They treat you like a damn handbag. Not my man, not my man, not my man. That's how they act. No woman, you are the property. And I mean that in the most respectful way possible. I mean that in the most respectful way possible. We don't know our roles and our position as man and woman. We just don't. And we got to make some changes. True love says men should be honest. They know good and well. They want more than one beautiful wife. Absolutely. And that's coming from a sister right there. And in the, in the back of a lot of women's mind, they know that you desire to have another wife and they know that you can from the right of God, rights given by God, the most high, that you can have multiple women. There's no sin in a man having multiple women. If it was, we would not be designed the way we are to be able to procreate at such a rapid rate. But you have to be honest. You have to be honest. The lies have to stop.
Somebody said, I love being honest. There's no pressure. Absolutely. I love it as well. Somebody said, what scripture is that? What scripture is what? What scripture is what? You know, people will sit there and manipulate the Bible all day to make it fit their narrative because they, they want to be possessive. You understand? Nowhere in the Bible does it condemn polygyny. It's not there. You understand? Wayne, thank you for the $20 cash app contribution. Highly appreciate you. Um, Makira says, we're not toys. You can't just play whenever you want and then put us down when you're done. We're, we're worth something just like you are. Now, listen, did anybody in this chat hear me say that women are just like toys? We play with them and put them down. Did anybody hear me say that? You know, sometimes people have selective hearing. And this is the issue. When a lot of women in modern culture got to get their emotions under control. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. To hell with what you're feeling. What's happening in the world with our relationships are not working because we have because a lot of our sisters have an issue listening to logic, sound logic. Women are a, the Bible tells you that women are a prized possession, not thus say of new breed. The Bible tells you that. Now, with a prized possession, let's add to that. Something that's a prized possession, you protect it with your life, right? Right, brothers? If somebody is outside trying to scrape your new Lamborghini or you got a spider Gallardo, let's say you got a damn spider Gallardo outside, right? And you walk outside and somebody, somebody got a big ass chisel and they're going to scrape the Gallardo. You're going to come out there with your cannon, right? And you're going to make sure that person skedaddle. That's the same thing with a wife. If somebody try to harm your wife, you're going out for your wife. You're going to go hard for your wife. You will die for your wife. You will make sure she slips out the back door. If somebody's trying to break in, you make sure she slips out the back door and you, you catch every bullet that's going your way. That's what you do for someone who's a prized possession. You love your what? Listen, men love hard. When men love, we love. So nobody's talking about smashing and disregarding women. And nobody, nowhere in this particular dialogue did I say anything even close to what that sister just said. Nowhere close. Yes, Black Male TV Advice, a.k.a. Ringo, is in the building. He says, I have multiple videos on polygyny on my channel, and I covered the truth about Solomon and the heathen women that turned against him. Polygyny wasn't the issue. Facts, my brother. Facts. And go subscribe to Black Male TV Advice, man. He's breaking it down raw and uncut, telling you the truth about this polygyny. I, I speak on this topic time from time, but that brother got multiple videos that breaks it down. Breaks it down to a decimal. You hear me? So shout out to that brother. Go subscribe. Because this, this is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. What we got going on ain't working. Like, can anybody, like, listen, I want to see the women in the chat for a moment. I want to see real women admit to the facts that what we got going on in modern society ain't working. Now, you should admit it because guess what? It's coming up on Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Valentine's Day. And I know for a fact. Oh, you ain't got to even say it. I know for a fact that it's going to be a whole lot of single women running around buying they self gifts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't celebrate none of these damn pagan holidays, but a great deal of our women. They look forward to Valentine's Day and there's a big blanket of depression that they got to cut carry over their back every damn year. Every year that go by and they buy themselves 
on on uh on Valentine's Day, better believe there's a there's some depression hovering over there. And you know why? Because there is more women than men. There's more women than men. There's not enough brothers to go around. That's just not. Look at the census. There's statistics that come out from the Census Bureau every damn year. Every year. That show you that there's multiple women to every man. Now, if every woman's supposed to have a man, that means there's some men who's supposed to be dealing with more than one. Yeah, the hell with the pagan holiday, DJ Taddy. But I'm, I'm bringing this up because most, most women, they celebrate these holidays. They look forward to it. Even women in the truth, they're looking at so-called truth because you got some women who just overly religious and really not ex accepting the truth because the truth bothers them. Now, a lot of these women, when this holiday come by, they start getting sad and lonely, sad and lonely, sitting at home with a bottle of wine, all by themselves, wondering where they man at. Where is your Prince Charming? Where they at? Where they at? Where's your husband? Where's your man? See, here's the problem. You battle a lot of women battle against themselves. They battle against themselves. It's got to come a time where you stop being possessive. And allow men to be men, because that's why a, a lot of relationships are breaking up. H.Y.O. Bree, thank you for the ten dollar contribution, family. Uh, the brother says women hate their role. Our feminist society leads them to believe that if they allow you to be a man, it somehow makes them less than a woman. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that goes into. That goes into the insecurities that they have and this society have told them that they're God. And this so-called age of Aquarius, they're giving women a lot of power that they don't want to leave behind. And the truth is they're not happy. You're not happy being alone. You're not happy with the power that this satanic system giving you. Because at the end of the day, you really were designed to be a wife. You were designed to be happy. You were designed to be underneath a man. You was designed to bear children. You was designed to help a man build a legacy, a dynasty. I want y'all to put something in perspective. I want you to imagine this. Now let's talk population for a second. I want you to imagine, I want you to imagine, um, let's see, Mike Tyson, Michael Jordan, who else are billionaires out here? Denzel Washington, uh samuel L. jackson he's a he's damn near a billionaire let's say every black entrepreneur black surgeon neurosurgeons black doctors who are making millions of dollars picture all of them would stop lying right come clean about who they are now all these brothers had let's say five wives apiece now all that generational wealth and all those children would inherit though that that particular money right now you look in that generational wealth being perpetuated in society can you see how that's a threat when we're being ourselves and being honest and transparent gold drop thank you for the uh super chat says please enlighten me what exactly is allowing a man to be a man women asking from chicago well here's the thing um uh, miss chicago A woman can't allow a man to do a damn thing. That's the thing. A man is going to be a man regardless. The only thing that's going to happen is if a woman, if a woman doesn't uh, submit to a man, the only thing that's going to happen is she's going to get left or she's going to leave eventually. That union is that union is going to be destroyed eventually. So a man is always going to be a man. No matter what, a man is going to be a man. Only, only a man who is not grown into manhood is going to allow a woman 
to stop him from reaching his potential and his goals. So women don't even have the power to allow or not allow. The only thing women do is more damage to themselves. And that's why we speak on these topics, because we tired of seeing our sisters hurt and alone. Painto Purpose TV. Come on, new breed. I feel I may be single until the return of the kingdom order. Listen, as long as you're doing the will of the father, as long as you're helping the kingdom, some people, some women will be single. But listen, what classify a woman as being righteous is her help that she bring forth to the kingdom. Do you understand? What is she doing to promote the kingdom to come? Is she helping God's prophets? Is she helping the most high's kings? Is she helping build something? Some women will be single. Some women are done with that. Some women are widows. Their husbands are died and they choose not to remarry. Some women um, are at a certain age where they're not going to remarry. But they should be dedicating them li their lives to helping the kingdom to come. You know? And, you know, another reason why modern relationships, they just don't work. They just don't. Um, number one, monogamy. It doesn't work. It doesn't work for men. Um, it just doesn't. Right? That's that's one of them. We got that. Putting marriage on a certificate is nonsense. It makes no sense. Um, you put the government in your relationship. You have a pastor telling you you may kiss the bride. Uh, you know, you may live happily ever after. Listen, with the most high bring together, let no man separate. Fellas, stop bowing before this damn governmental system here and putting your your name on these on these certificates. You be the boss of your own, your own legacy. Another reason why they don't work. Another reason they don't work is because we don't talk to each other enough. Yes, the communication is off. Since we've been disenfranchised as a nation, we have a, a very difficult time communicating with each other. All right. We are more concerned with what someone can do for us um, than getting to know someone, uh, especially a lot of these ladies out there. They want to know what a man can offer them. And they're not even paying attention to what they can offer a man. Um, a lot of men are just looking for sex. Um, they want, they looking at various body parts and they just trying to figure out what they can do uh, to get in the sheets with a woman and they're not getting to know it. You got to, listen, you got to have conversations. Like, a lot of men, you're not asking the right questions. You're just not asking a lot of these women the right questions. You're not. I mean, they're so, and I'm going to tell, I'm going to say this as well. Women love talking about themselves, brothers. This is what you got to understand. Women love talking about themselves. Women love to tell you about their lives. And I love to listen. I'm a brother who loved to hear a woman talk. I love it because unlike me being on social media, when I'm off social media, I'm very quiet. I'm a very quiet man. I, I'm a listener. It's important for us as men to listen. It exemplifies masculinity. It, 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 uh, it sets us up for success in relationships because we're hearing everything. All right. And you got to ask these women the right questions. Let her talk, man. Let her tell you about her life. Let her explain everything and ask her the right questions. And Because a lot of you brothers are not doing that. A lot of you brothers are just, you know, trying to run game all the damn time. Show some true interest, man. And listen. And then you make the decision whether or not that's a woman for you. You know? Y'all make sure y'all hit the thumbs up on this live stream if you gain an edification, man. Let's allow this video to fluctuate. Yeah, DJ Tatty, you said it right. It's too many games being played. It's way too many games being played. Um, Leo, Leo Dan... 
when you post in scripture, you need to know the context of the scripture. Black Mill TV advice says Jacob produced the 12 tribes from his seed and polygyny. If polygyny was sinful, then Jacob is in hell. Women outnumber men. Most brothers are wicked too, just like these women. Whole system is bad. That's a fact. That's a fact. And you know, it's interesting, you know, you got, you got people who are so against polygyny and if it wasn't for Jacob taking on multiple women, we wouldn't even be here. Do you, I mean, like uh, understand the logic behind that. I don't, me personally, I don't understand why it's taking so-called Bible believers so long to understand that the Bible never condemned polygyny. I, I don't get it. What's taken by you, you read the Bible. If you read the Bible, if you understand it, then I don't know what's taking Bible believers so long to get it. It's just a fact, ladies and gentlemen. You can't negate the facts. Now, if you're a person who, you know, if you're a person who just don't want that for yourself, then why be in a topic that's that's speaking on it? You know, just do you. If you found success in your relationship and you're truly happy with how your relationship is going, then by all means then deal with your relationship. <laughs> you understand? Because you got real brothers and so you got real brothers who want to build, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of these brothers, man, you know, you'll hear what I'm telling y'all. You'll hear what I'm saying, but I need y'all to listen as well. I need y'all to listen as well because some brothers, they just, they, they only after one thing. They only after one thing, and that's sex. You gotta, you gotta discipline yourself, and that's why I teach on, I teach on a no fat lifestyle change. I teach on celibacy. I teach on practicing abstinence. I, I teach, I teach semen retention because as a man, you you gotta discipline. You can't be a man who is uh, sex crazed. You know, you know, you can't be a man who is always thinking with your lower extremities. You gotta be a brother who discipline. Because if you are a if you have lustful, vindictive behaviors like masturbation or porn addiction, what's going to happen is you're going to pervert the true knowledge. If you're watching videos like this and then you turn around and you're looking at women from a, a an objective standpoint, you're going to pervert the message. Like, let me tell you something. Number one, holding your seed, respecting your seed. Um, disciplining yourself as a man, not not watching it this this wicked material, and abusing yourself. Once you begin to do that, you begin to see what a real woman is about. Um, the energy that you project will change. Um, you'll begin to attract the right type of woman, women who can understand, women who can see. Um, the attractions change. You become a magnet for pure women. If you sitting there masturbating, beating off, you in your basement <laughs> running marathons on yourself, then guess what? The type of women you're going to attract is the same type of women you're releasing your damn energy to. So we got to discipline ourselves as men. Savion says he's answered why women shouldn't have more than one, one woman before. I guess you mean more than one man. Uh, you can, but it's not good for your body or spirit because you take on the spirits of every man you lay with. That's just a fact. That's just an outright fact. I mean, why would a woman want multiple men? What? Women, when y'all say that, right? When y'all fly off the handle talking about, <laughs> well, what about us having multiple men? Are you, are you, do you, do you really want that? Like when you, when you just fly out your rails, right? Using your emotions. When you just spew that out of your lips so easily. Do you really mean that? For a second, when you say it do, as a woman, when you sit back and look at it, don't you feel embarrassed by that? That comment? Think about this. You don't feel a little bit embarrassed being a woman talking about you want multiple men. 
entering your threshold. You want you want multiple men penetrating you. You want multiple men. You want multiple husbands. Like seriously, do any sister that says that do she even think that's an embarrassing as a, like that is so against your nature that it should it, be, it should be an utter embarrassment for you to even say something like that out loud. That's how you know society is far gone when a woman talking about she she want multiple husbands. You don't feel a little bit dirty about that? Just even saying that. <laughs> For real, though. You're not meant to be with multiple men, ladies. Your body's not designed for that. That's not that's not clean whatsoever. It's off. Don't you get that? And it's like, you know, one huge reason modern relationships don't work is because you've been taught this damn equality nonsense. You've been taught this equality just, it, 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 it makes no sense. You know, you want to be equal to a man. You can never be equal to a man. Man was created first. The most high God is a man. All right. You, you can't be equal to no man. You're not a man. You can't you can't consider yourself a woman and then try to do things that a man would do. Do that make sense to you? You cannot be a woman and then try to do things that a man would do. Somebody said, imagine how that room would smell. One woman, many men. <laughs> Oh man, I don't even want bro. I don't want to imagine how that room would smell. <laughs> oh man, bro just said that. Bro just jumped off the deep end with that one, man. Damn, bro. Damn. <laughs> Somebody said, bro, that's messed up. Yeah, and it's the thing, man. You you can't change the Jezebel, man. I had I had an interesting uh, an interesting conversation with a with an Instagram model, right? Um, you know this Instagram model. I won't say her name. She got a lot of followers. Won't say her name. So she reached out to me, basically trying to ask me why why I'm so hard on women, blah blah blah, right? And that's kind of where she was at with it. And I I engaged in the conversation because I'm like, hey, you know, this person came across my videos. So I really got to understand how a lot of modern women think just having a conversation with this woman. Um, well, with this female, I don't even want to call her a woman because she ain't there yet. She just ain't she ain't she ain't on it. So this is what a lot of modern women think. This is what they think. And, and this is a woman who's who's said to me that she's uh she and this ended on bad terms. The conversation ended on bad terms. It got disrespectful. So I don't mind even I don't mind putting this out here. I don't mind putting this out here because the conversation ended on bad terms. I actually blocked her. Right. I actually blocked her, blocked her once. And I was like, damn, you know, let me unblock her. Give her another chance to come with some damn respect. Then she came with the same nonsense. So I blocked her again. So I don't mind putting this out here. Cause I don't give a damn how many followers you got. I don't give a damn how many dudes is lusting after you. I, that makes no difference to me. So anyway, the conversation kind of went like this. She basically admitted that she slept. She's been with men who are, who are millionaires. She's been, she's been with all kinds of men and pretty much she sells her body for, uh, for sustenance. She sells her body. She has sex with men. She's she, essentially, we will call that a prostitute nowadays. Right. I mean, back in the day, I don't know what they call them now. They always trying to smooth over what it is. But uh, basically, I would call it a prostitute if you having sex for money. Um, and she basically goes on to say, you know, I hear you telling women to keep their legs closed. But what about men who are tricking? What about men who are always trying to have sex? Men who are trying to do this and do that and spend money on sex. I had to I had to make it clear. First of all, I talked about men tricking as well, not just women who can't keep their legs closed. So, number one, you know, I spoke against that already. And she said, well, what's the reward for keeping her legs closed? 
when she can get A, B, C, D, E, F, G from keeping her legs open. And I'm like, watch my, and this is what I responded with. Watch my video on no fap, celibacy, and semen retention, because that video went for males and females. And, you know, she went on to say, well, Muslims, this is what she said. This is crazy, bro. She goes on to say that Muslim men, they give their women an incentive to keep their legs closed. She says, <laughs> she says, well, why can't our men, this is what she says, why can't our, our men give our, our women an incentive to keep their legs closed? So now you living in a society where women don't even understand the value of their bodies. They just don't get it. Like you, you're, you were the gatekeeper. You're the gatekeeper. You telling me that you believe that righteous men should pay you not to be a damn whore. That's the mentality of these women. They think they're supposed to get something out of something. So, you know, I went on to say like, and then she, she refers to herself. She says later on in the conversation, she goes, I think there's no hope for me. I think I'm a Jezebel. Right. I don't think, and, I, and I've been with, she says she's been with Israelite men. She's been with men of the Bible. She's been with all these guys. Right. And I'm like, okay. You know, I really didn't care about that. I'm like, so my response was, I was like, why are you telling me this? I legit asked her. I was like, why, why did you come to my page and inbox me this? You know, I didn't, I, I, I genuinely wanted to know. And then she goes, it's clear that you don't care. I'm like, no, you're saying that you're a Jezebel. You don't think you could be saved. So I agree with you. <laughs> I, like i agree you 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 legit want me to convince you you want me to convince you that you can be saved so you want me to go do what these other men do you want me to try to save you no that that's that's not my job that's not my job women you have to save your damn selves you got to get your mind right know the value of your own body it's not it's not up to a man to try to convince you to do what's right when it when when them scriptures talk about a woman submitting, it's not even a man's job to make a woman submit. It's not a man's job to make you submit. You gotta submit. <laughs> Do you get it? Now I only told that story because it's a to me there was a lot of learning uh, components in that story. It's because somebody said that's gossip. That ain't no damn gossip. I'm telling you a conversation with somebody I had that I had to block. Because this person was trying to get a righteous man to save them. You know, I number one, I can care less about what she done with a bunch of Israelite men or Muslim men or rich men and poor men. I don't care about that. It'd have been different if this sister had humbled herself before she even inboxed me. If she would have if she would have humbled herself and said, hey, brother, I watch your videos and I wanted to know. I wanted to know, you know, answers to this question. And then she was actually had an open ear to listen, but she was trying to manipulate. And men are not having that no more. We don't give a damn how good you look. You're not going to be able to manipulate a man of the most high. No, nah, I don't. I could care less about how many guys you got. And you've been with millionaires. Like, I don't care about that. You humble yourself before a king. You humble yourself and say, hey, brother, I've been watching your videos and I was wondering, you know, could you help me with this? Or I have an issue with that. It's not men's job to make women righteous. It's not our job to make y'all submit. Because if you don't submit, brother's going to find a woman who will submit. It's just that simple. Thank you for the $10 contribution, says New Breed. I'm 24 and I'm developing into, into real manhood, but it's hard looking at how lost my generation is and our young women. Queens uh, slash queens. What advice can you give me to keep being a leader and example of a man? Hey, brother. What advice can I give you to keep being a leader? Hey, the fact that you know that you're on the right path that should be enough to keep you going, bro. And I know that there's temptation all around, but trust and believe that in the long run, I want you to think of your future. 
I want you to think of your future in the long run. If you continue doing what's right, having your code of conduct, having your ethics, having your morals and guidelines, then at the end, you'll be rewarded. The most high rewards his, his, his men, his soldiers. You'll have the women you desire. You'll have, you'll have the success you desire in life. Um, you'll make it to the next level. And that's what it's all about. We want, we want to become successful. Yeah, uh, thank you. Somebody said you're doing a great job, Nubri. All praises. I appreciate it. If y'all think I'm doing a good job, y'all go ahead, hit the thumbs up. I know this is one of my least popular topics. You know, I get a lot of love from a lot of women. But when I speak on this, <laughs> you see how they really feel. You know? It's all love when I make you feel good. Affinity Nicole, thank you for the uh, for the contribution. I'm not reading your comment because I broke down that scripture several times. You wasting your time with your religious your religious semantics. You're gonna pay me five dollars to try to correct me. <laughs> I broke that scripture down so many times in so many ways. I've been in this truth ten years. You think I don't know that damn scripture? No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Some people say, new breed, you cut the locks and you lost your patience. No, I've been ain't had patience with idiocy. I've been ain't had patience with idiocy. Let's get that understood. I could di listen when it comes to dealing with children. My patients are excellent. I can deal with children. I can deal with people who um, listen. I work with elderly. I've worked in nursing homes before. I could deal with the elderly. I could deal with children. I can deal with special needs people, but I can't deal with no grown ass man and woman who just are out there with it. That's what I have an issue with. Uh, Butterfly says, I don't know. But it sounds like she came in the door with her mom made up and she may have been con contracting you or contacting you to see if you were interested in being added to the righteous men she had been with. I think so, too. I actually that's exactly what that conversation was about. Um, she was talking about she called herself a Jezebel. She said, I'm a, she said, you know, I think I'm a Jezebel. She says, I think I'm a Jezebel and it's too late for me. And she said, a lot of these men think they can, they can save, save me and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, OK, I don't think that I don't think you can be saved because it's up to you to save yourself. And if you saying that you are Jezebel, then what you want me to say? <laughs> it ain't my job to make you hump to humble yourself so you can find you a righteous man. And at the beginning of that conversation, I was like, do you even, I said, do you want a man? Do you want a righteous man to lead you? That was one of the first things I asked her. Do you want a righteous man to lead you? And she goes, she goes, uh, a lot of these, she starts talking about men. Like a lot of the men who, who appear to be righteous aren't pretty much. She goes, she goes to start talking about how a lot of these men in truth and these biblical men or Muslim men or men who are success, they act like they're one way, but they're another way. I'm like, well, I don't care about that. Why are you even telling me that? You want me to say, well, baby, I'm different. That's what she wanted. She wanted me to be like, I'm different. Number one, you don't come at no man talking about your other sex capades. You don't come to me talking about your damn sex capades, what you done done with this man. I could, Listen, that was automatically a turn off. I automatically got turned off and I don't give a damn how good she was looking. So for you to even come at me that way, I automatically was thinking this sister need deliverance. I wasn't thinking about, oh, I want to get in her drawers. I was automatically like she need to, she needs some help for real. You got the wrong one. Soon as I find a way to screenshot that transcript, I think I'm gonna put that on Patreon. Y'all need to see, y'all need to see how these modern women be thinking. 
<laughs> I need to screenshot that that whole transcript, man, and break it down. Like, cause some of these women be off the damn chain, bro. Real talk. Yeah, somebody said pity party. Yeah. I ain't giving no damn pity party. You the one open your legs up to various men. You the one in my damn inbox. I ain't getting added to them damn lists. I don't, I don't need the Jezebel. Every time you, every time a brother start rising in this world, every time a brother start doing something righteous and, and coming up and finding some level of success, these damn agents always send the damn lady in red. They always send the lady in red. They always send that one Jezebel that's trying to manipulate and get you to, to, to you know, fall into her grasp. It never fails. They send them at me all the damn time. They send them to me all the time. And I and hey, listen, if you ain't helping me build this, if you ain't helping me build this legacy, you can keep it moving. You got the wrong one for that. These modern relationships don't work, man. They don't work because a lot of women won't humble themselves. A lot of men out here, they're just chasing ass. They won't discipline themselves for nothing. Nope, no, none of these brothers got a code of conduct. Nobody got no ethics. Everybody want to just, I, I mean, we've been hypersexualized to the point where I don't even know sometimes if it's any turning back for us as a whole, but I hope that our people prove me different. I hope that they prove me different, man. Prove me wrong, that we got some hope, that we can be honest with each other. We can stop lying to each other. That we can finally recognize that the way this, this Western world taught us, it just don't work. Women got to be women again. Women got to humble themselves. If it's a guy you like, stop worried about, you know, what women he dealing with and all that. Stop worried about all that. That ain't your job. If you attracted to him, if he's a good man, because you women act like y'all don't know the difference between a, a wicked man and a good man. Like, you know, damn well, you know the difference. If you know that's a good man, then stop worried about what he's doing. Stop being insecure, acting crazy. Trying to find out, you know, what he got going on around. Like, stop all that. Is he is he good to you? Is he providing for you? Is he teaching you? Is he spiritually make, uh, molding you? Stop the nonsense. Some of y'all women got some good brothers and you know they good men. They might not be perfect because ain't nobody perfect. But you know you got a good man, but you steady stressing this man out. You steady stressing him out. You know he a good brother. When he leave the house, he got to worry about you calling. He, he got to answer his phone not knowing what the hell going to come out your mouth. You got that man stressed out. Stop the wickedness. Humble yourself. Submit yourself. Ain't nobody going to convince you to do nothing. You either going to be lonely or you're going to submit. Or you're going to spend the next 10 Valentine's Day eating chocolates. You're going to be sitting Indian style eating chocolates, watching chick flicks, lonely. You're going to be lonely. And you're going and it's, and it's to happen all the way to the point where you old and gray. And you're just going to be full of resentment and regret. That's how it's going to pan out for you. I'm not going to tickle your ears. I'm not going to tell you uh, something to make you feel good. Damn it, I want to piss you off. I want to get under your skin. I want to get under your skin to the point it makes your ass change. And you be like, you know what? I need to stop. Brother New Breed ain't lying. Damn, one day y'all gonna know I ain't lying to y'all. One day all the women gonna wake up like, you know what? Y'all gonna look back five years from now. <laughs> y'all gonna look, it's gonna take some of y'all a while, right? Y'all gonna look back like five years from now. I'll be like, damn. Man, I was too busy with my fingers just typing. <laughs> Trying to type scriptures. <laughs> Let me prove him wrong. <laughs> And then you're going to look back five years from now and be like, damn, everything he said was right. It's going to be it's going to be Valentine's Day five years from now. And you're going to be doing the same damn thing you're doing this Valentine's Day. 
<laughs> by your damn self shopping. Man, that's that's crazy going out and seeing women shop for themselves, like looking around, like just looking around, like you. Just, I'm gonna go spoil myself. <laughs> I think that defeats the purpose of Valentine's Day. You know, I think that defeats the defeats the purpose of the pagan holiday when you got to go buy yourself some damn gifts to feel good. You're supposed to have you're supposed to have a man doing that. Yeah, I don't celebrate these pagan holidays, but damn it, I'm speaking their language right now because I speak to the, the entire I speak to all of them, the entire world, women of the world. You got to humble yourself or, or you're going to be doing the same damn thing, and that's called insanity doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. That's insanity. Absolutely. Thank you for the $10 contribution, Gerardo. Gerardo says, the divine feminine steady watching who's the head and it's making them sick. Yeah. Like the jealousy and envy got to stop. You got... you. you Listen, ladies, the contradictions got to stop. And I didn't even want to make this a topic about the women, but just based on reactions. I Listen, when I do my streams, I do them off the top. I don't think about what I'm going to say. So the energy that I'm getting, that's the energy I'm going to project. And unfortunately, this topic made a lot of women upset. So I got to I got to put you I got to put you on to uh, to knowledge. And, you know, but I keep it balanced, man. You brothers got to make some decisions, man. Stop lying to these women. Stop lying. Another reason our relationships don't work these days is um, we really don't. We don't try to get to know families enough either. That's something else I wanted to bring up briefly. Uh, we don't try to get to know a woman's family, like her dad, her uncles. Like that has to be um, that has to be promoted. We really got to start introducing ourselves to their fathers. Ask them if the, if the father's in the picture. Do you know your dad? Is he, you know, I want to, you know, let me, let me talk to your dad. I want to get to know him. I want to see what kind of man he is. I want to tell him what kind of man I am. Like, we got to bring that back too. That that's a, that's a huge issue right there. That's a huge issue in relationships why they don't work. Yeah. Listen, brothers, when you meet a woman, and her family is just it's a it's a bad family and, and i'm i'm gonna leave keep it i'm gonna simplify it man you need to run you need to run the other way same on the same you know on the same end women if if the brother you meet their family is just just horrible bad family go the other way unless unless that man has showed that he rose above his situation Unless that man show that he rose above the negativity of his family, then you need to move. You need to keep it moving. And the same thing with brothers. If that woman, she rose above the negativity, then keep it moving. But I'm going to tell you, a lot of the times it's unlikely. A lot of the times those generational curses continue to be carried down. And a lot of times that woman, the negative influence that her family has over her, a lot of you brothers can't beat that. You can't, you can't, you can't conquer that because it's a, it's a spiritual stronghold on that woman. You know, her, the, 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 the things her mama told her, the things her grandmama told her, some women not ready to let go of that. And then you have a great deal of women who are, you have some women who like, you know what, you know, my mom's and, and, and grandmother and auntie and all, all them, they, they single. They by themselves. They don't know nothing. They don't know a damn thing about relationships. So since that's the issue, I'm ready to humble myself to a man. The hell with what they trying to teach me. Because you got some women like that. You got some women who are absolutely fed up. They fed up to the point where they don't give a damn with mommy, auntie, sister, all the game that they be running on men. They ain't trying to hear none of that. Those are the type of women you want. Or women. Or or from families that are good families, man. Good families. With some order and decency about themselves. 
unless you found one who rose above, man, because not all of us are like our family. Us chosen, us chosen, hey, we rose above a lot of the, the mishaps that we may have been faced with. Affinity Nicole says, I'm a tad bit offended with how you just delivered your message towards my question. That was very unnecessary. Now, what should you have done was direct me? I don't even know which which message you're talking about. Book of Matthew said many will be offended. And this is nothing personal. Many going to be offended. Nothing is personal here. Just take what I say and implement it in your life. Like, you know, don't allow don't allow anything that I'm saying to be a stumbling block. Just look at yourself from the outside looking in. That's all. Man, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to come through with this stream. Um, hopefully this stream helped a lot of you brothers and sisters out to have successful relationships and reverse some of these generational curses. Uh, it may have came off negative to some, but sometimes you got to know some of the negative problems that we have in our our unions in order for us to do the total opposite all right and that's what that that's what this video was about hopefully it helps you out in your walk and your journey um if you like this type of content and want more content like this the link to my patreon is in the description box also follow me at, on instagram at i am uh, excuse me at newbreed 404 if you also would like to donate and um help promote this work the cash app is in the description box and thank everybody who sent super chats highly appreciate it i love y'all for supporting this work um y'all make sure y'all have a blessed afternoon i got more moving to do before i get into the other place but y'all gonna be seeing more content coming soon with that being said shalom and peace